hello. Is it too quiet now? The music seems quite quiet now. Let's turn it up a notch. Welcome. It is Sunday, March 31st, 2024. It is 12.48pm. Sorry for being a little bit late. Um, the last day of March. And it's Easter. Happy Easter, Xbox. And uh, welcome to Raven, Mika, Washa, Ilya, Halcyon Vibes, Puppy Doll, Captain Cheapy, Monday, Redra, and that's everybody, I think. Happy Easter! Easter! I just realized that I didn't call my relatives yet for Easter. It's like something that I'm just expected to do. So I hope that they don't try to call me while I'm streaming. I would really hate that. There's nothing I hate more than my relatives trying to call me while I'm streaming. That's so annoying. I hate getting phone calls in general. Do you guys feel that? I feel like we've talked about this before. I hate phone calls. I will do anything to avoid making a fucking phone call. <laughs> yes. I'm calling you right now. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. You in a ska band? Hello, Neo Zero. All phone calls should just be emails, yeah. I mean, it's just like, uh. Yeah, happy Trans Day of Visibility. You may perceive me. I'm perceiving you? Wow. That's Greedra? I never pick up the phone, but if it's important, then whoever's calling will leave me a message. Yeah. Same, the same here. But there's like a lot of places, even if it's important, they just don't leave a message anymore. I don't know what's up with that. I've had people call about job interviews, and I look it up, and it's the, it's the number of the place that I applied to, but they don't leave a fucking message. Is it just like some kind of fucking mind game? Okay, better answer the phone for every call and always be available or you're not getting hired. Sick bullshit. Little drop. It's really cool to see you playing Gun Survivor 4 Biohazard Heroes Never Die. I hope that this game is still fun. Um, I really liked this game when I was a teenager. Like, I kind of recognized that it was sort of ass, but like, I, I used to play this game a lot as a teen. I played it probably like four or five times. Um, just because it's, it's nice and short. It's pretty fun from what I remember. I do think I tried to play it a few years ago and I was like, wow, this is pretty rough. <laughs> Oh, and IRL, and Mika, I'm pretty great you. It's the day of the year you have to recast your invisibility spells. Good thing White Mage gets that at level 25. I hate making a phone call for myself, but I make calls for work without issue. I do not know why. Maybe because you have to. A few years ago, you were a fool. There's uh, some very funny stuff about this game that we will... You know, I really hope that we get to that stuff because it would be fitting for today. <laughs> Just thinking about it now. <laughs> maybe maybe we go as far as we can in this game in hopes that we can get to that. I didn't even... I didn't plan this, but it is it would be pretty funny. Uh, oh, Nekoe. Welcome. My name is Landy. Hand over the dragon mirror or die. <laughs> Where is this coming from? <laughs> this is Landy's phone call? <laughs> I like the idea of him announcing announcing his name. He seems like the kind of guy who would not tell you his name. <laughs> He's calling you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Does does Rio still have the dragon mirror? Don't answer that, maybe. <laughs> Just let it go to voicemail. <laughs> uh. Landy! Oh, so lame. How do you do? Welcome. Welcome. I still find it so funny that the, like, 
the single still image for this music upload of the What's Shenmue music is just Ryo standing in the street at night and he's just staring at a pole. Like, <laughs> there's nobody around. He's just standing there looking at nothing. And it doesn't change at all. <sighs> That's him in a nutshell. But he's not asking anybody any questions. Like, uh, do you know where I can find any Chinese people? Ryu, Persona 4 moment. Does that happen in Persona 4? Excuse me, Paul. Do you know of a warehouse number 8? <laughs> I used to be Chinese, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> hey, Skelly. How's it going? <laughs> I went for a walk around the block today and it was beautiful. There was flowers and birds everywhere. And, um, I saw a van that had its window broken, and that was nice. I liked it. I had a good time getting my little constitutional in. It was really not too much walking. There's a popular meme of Rise from Persona 4 staring at a fire alarm intently. Huh? Why do you break that van's window? Well, you see, there was a copy of Hell Knight in the back seat. I can't imagine why. You would leave that unattended in your car in plain sight? She loves the bork in the windows. Windows. XP. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> Anything happen? No, nothing. The oat was right next to it. I've been thinking a lot about how the oat was so goaded. It was such an awesome game. That's got to be like one of the most ultimate games we've played on this channel. You believe in the broken window theory. You see a window, you break it. <laughs> it is a little tempting. Our, there's like a door in our house that has actual individual panes of glass in the door. Like in the little quadrants or whatever. And I always think like, man, it would be really satisfying to just break one of those. Like a game protagonist. Wasn't there in like uh, Time Splitters 2, they had like those little challenges and like one of them is just to go around and break every window in like a little subsection of a level? You have to like do it with like bricks or something? <laughs> Hi Farmsteads. Welcome. Yeah, they did. Those challenges, I loved those as a kid. I feel like I would want to just fucking end my existence if I tried to do that stuff now. I would get like fatal point-and-click syndrome from trying to do all that with the fucked up controls of time splitters like golden eye ass controls <sighs> brick insta chip deathmatch was goaded I, I guess that would be a possibility wouldn't it i really like to play virus and just treat it like it was a horror game my friends and i would play virus on various levels and run around and try to survive which is really scary that's like the most scary game mode especially against like npc uh like bots because they um their movements are so like robotic and weird and like once they like if you don't know what virus is in time splitters it's basically one person starts out covered in green flames and that person runs around and tries to tag other people just by touching them and when you touch them, they also catch on fire. And so the goal uh, for the first, for the people who are virus, is to catch everybody else on fire. And the goal, if you have not caught on fire, is just to 
not get caught on fire. So towards the end, it gets really intense because there's just all these people running around trying to tag you and they are all, if you're playing against bots, they just move really strangely and act really strangely. <laughs> Time Splitter's controls are still the best from the console shooter era. They're pretty simple. I don't know. I don't like the hold trigger to move reticle around the screen like you're playing some kind of like a rail shooter or something controls. Which unfortunately that's what you have to do in Resident Evil Dead Aim. So we'll have to deal with that today. I love playing Virus and Halo Zombies. This is Halo Zombies. Like that's Bullfango in near. Yeah, covered in green flames, emitting green fog. What was like, there was some video that Benji posted a long time ago that was like a wrestler whose gimmick was that he would spit out green fog into people's faces and they would be like, they would get like stunned by it or something. And like the announcers is like, seems to be emitting some sort of green fog, if you will. <laughs> Very, very funny to hear. Uh, virus was my least favorite mode. Why? It's so fun. I remember reading a book of people's early formative video game experiences. One of their mini essays was about how scary that mode was to them. It was really scary. It was very stressful. I played so much Time Splitters. Yeah, same here. My friend would make all kinds of maps in Time Splitters, and I would go over to his house and play them. But a lot of the time, they were not really like, uh... Like, they were just kind of like architectural maps, just to like walk around in, which is pretty cool. This was my friend that we had a common interest in finding glitches in video games and just trying to like glitch them as much as possible. Like, we would play Halo and try to get out of bounds in the levels or take vehicles into areas that we're absolutely not meant to have vehicles in and just get to like weird places in the game golden memories of my my young years dot level hot jams i do that you emitting green fog what does it do <laughs> the green mist is a classic we all love it especially on saint patty's day it was unfortunately already passed. <laughs> crazy Hamburger? Joker Crazy Hamburger? The lighting engine in the Time Splitter's custom maps blew my mind. Tight lives. You mean like the colored lighting and stuff? Gowlin memories. Your future perfect maps were very galaxy brain. The last one I ever made, I maxed out memory and playing it lagged like hell. It's pretty cool they let you do that. It's pretty neat. It's like a green flare in the burger? 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 We always fit a warthog inside that very tight corridor down into an underground base bit in the first or second Halo level. Are you talking about the one that's the island? That's the second level. No, no, no. The second level was where you first crash onto the Halo and you have to go around. You do get a Warthog on that level, if I remember correctly. That game is so cool. She doesn't know about Crazy Hamburger. Wish more games came with map editors now. I don't know why they don't. I guess, like, level design tools are so complex at this point that... It's like hard to put them out but i think that um i know that dusk lets you edit maps in what's it called i can't remember it's like a quake map editor i can't i remember what it's called trench brew that's it right oh yeah raven got it i'm gonna tag imps for time splitters 2 now yeah we're gonna play time splitters 2 with rollback Getting to make your own lighting. 
and see how badly you can mess it up and having to learn what real game lighting is. Yeah, just turn it all the way to green or all the way to red. It's a crazy hamburger. It is horrible. Hello, Capra Hoodruff. Should put a map editor in Alan Wake 2. I wonder what that would even look like. You gotta have a degree at NASA to make a map. Well, if you have Trench Broom, it's pretty easy. I think Trench Broom is super fun. Mod scenes have gotten insane lately, on the other hand. Yeah, like that B3313 mod, uh, or ROM hack that Holly was playing. That's incredible. English Wizardry 5 Ordeals web editor coming in June? That's the kind of thing I like to hear. I have never heard anyone say hood rap. Oh, I guess this is kind of like when people call drop a uh, swirl. Just always like, always really bizarre to me. Yeah, Godot has that, that plugin that lets you use uh, Trench Broom. Which is super awesome. I really like that plugin and I've used it some. It's called Godot. It's like Godot with a Q instead of a G. It's super, it's like a little weird to set up and it's a kind of finicky, but like if you want to just make level geometry super fast without having to fuck with Blender or anything like that and you want to like texture the environment super easily with like repeating textures, it is literally the best possible like thing that you can choose. It's it's fantastic. And it's really like it's not that different from like the tools they use to make like Half-Life 2 and stuff. And those are pretty sophisticated looking maps like for the time. Um, and the fact that they made that with like a souped up basically like a quake editor is pretty impressive. Plug in to use Jack. What's that? Hey, we gotta play a game, don't we? Okay, so we're going to be playing Resident Evil Dead Aim today, which, uh, no, keep talking. It's been 20 minutes, Ilya. I can't, can't keep it up forever. All right. Wow, man, I booted this up last night to check if, um, if Dead Aim worked, and there was updates for PCSX2 then, and I just opened it, and there's another damn update. How can there be so many updates? They're really on that shit. Alright. I'm in position. You're in position. Let's get this game going. Got my... Oh, my controller's not plugged in. I knew there was... I already got the Xbox hooked up for later when we play Enchanted Arms, assuming that happens and I don't just get sucked into the world of Resident Evil Dead Aim. Easter updates? Hey Cerebro. What? Gaming? Couldn't be. It's a Half-Life 1 and Gold Source level editor. Basically functions almost identical to Hammer, but has more modern quality of life features. Oh, wait, so there is a modern Half-Life 1 editor out there? The last time that I checked that out a few years ago, I was messing with something that felt very antiquated, and it it seems like a lot of the editors were not updated anymore back at that time. If your game system date notices it's Easter and you start a Resident Evil game, the game voice will shout out, Resident Easter. And then Leon or... Who's the guy in Dead Aim? Travis? Is that his name? He has like some kind of really like normal ass name that's kind of funny. Alright, PS2 capture? You gonna... You gonna capture for me? Yeah. So, I don't know why it shows this. Why does it say this? And also, why is it like a weird size? What? Why is the resolution so strange? Well, no matter. 
All right, and there's like a border around it. I don't know why this is the case for this game. There's like a black border around the game. Um, but I really don't feel like manually cropping it, so you're gonna have to deal. It's like open source, nice. Ooh. Uh, I just realized I don't know how loud this game is gonna be, and it says. It says insert a memory card with at least 130 kilobytes of, of free space. And I can't save the game in this state. But, like, I have it set up to just manage state, states saves uh, by game. So I guess we'll see. Uh, if if uh, it goes poorly, I can just save state. Who cares? Oh, six thousand. Hey, do you guys know this game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore? It was developed by Capcom. Actually, not developed by Capcom. Published. Developed by Kavia. The developers of Nier. Cool music. Hey, this looks pretty fucking awesome. That's some dot level hot jams right there. Really loud game. Establishing beauty has abs a, a kingdom where beauty has absolute authority is is Resident Evil. This is fucking Kino. This is ultimate right here. This is an ultimate like attract mode fucking cutscene. Right, <laughs> cool. I swear someone else was also having this problem with the memory card thing recently and they also couldn't fix it for this game it was like i have the it was set to like a folder i don't know maybe that's the problem this game contains scenes couldn't be so this game is originally a light gun game i don't have a light gun but if you had a gun con too you could use that when i was a teenager i played it on controller so it's completely playable uh controls kind of weird what a sneak move Two buttons dedicated to sneak move. What do you think that's going to be? I don't know. Um, you can move. You can aim or rotate with the right stick. Status. Display map. Fire is R1. Reload is R2. We have cancel and confirm. There's A type, which is like this. And there's B type, where sneak move, normal, and parallel are switched. That's the only difference. I guess that must have been like a massive point of contention among playtesters for them to put that in. I don't know. Not for this game, but just in general, huh? All right, monitor tuning. Yeah, you know, adjust your TV <laughs> using the settings on your TV. It's that kind of era. We can we can adjust the screen if we wanted to. I don't want to. It's fine. I can't make it any bigger, so who cares? And we want stereo. I would like vibration on. And movie caption on. Really nice feature to have that you don't always get in this era. Having uh, subtitles for the FMVs and stuff. Really nice to have. We start game on normal mode. Establishing a kingdom where beauty has absolute authority is the dream, which I must make a reality. Morpheus D. Duval. Everyone knows him. Most legendary character of Resident Evil. Raccoon City, a midwestern town in the United States, was destroyed when a substance known as the T virus leaked throughout the town. Uh, the captions are completely not However, matching. Umbrella. What are you saying? Corporation developing the virus refused to abort <laughs> the project. And once again, the threat of biological terror was thrust upon the world. The world. A large amount of T-Virus was stolen three days ago. A terrorist group hit an Umbrella lab in France. Yesterday, one of Umbrella's cruisers was hijacked and contaminated with the same virus. The same virus. Kino music, this is awesome. Love when a game starts with a quote from one of its own characters. It is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Morpheus D. Duval. He kind of looks like he's already a zombie. Why, you American spies 
Those tunes to hear such ugly garbage is still a mystery to me. Morpheus. Morpheus. Seems a little quiet now. That's all the playtime we have for today. You die. Now. This is some pretty slick cutscenes for the PS2. Just a fucking video of fire. Oh boy. Yeah. Love to see it. Wonderful, wonderful. Wow, the the strip of flags blowing in the wind, that looks fantastic. And then, I don't know, we just went through like a vent somewhere. Now we're inside. Uh, I don't know why they didn't show that part. <laughs> nah. And the opening narrator sounds like they're being interviewed on local TV about a wild animal sighting. Look at his in-game model. Whoa. Wow, he's really fast. All right, so sneak move, sneak move normal is sneak movement. I guess this is sneak movement, slow, kinda. Like the turning is still pretty fast, but I move slow and I can still turn with the left analog stick. Sneak move parallel is kind of like, uh, it locks you to one, you like strafe. It's basically strafe mode. Um, I wonder if there's like any kind of circle strafing tech in this game. Seems like a little too slow for that. Looks like a tiny boat to set a game in, yeah. Well, we'll see. Maybe it's bigger on the inside. That stance is glorious. This one? Or this one? How's the volume? Here, let's, let's fire a shot to see how loud the guns are. That's pretty loud. What do you guys think? It seemed like uh, the dialogue and the cutscenes was just, like, absolutely incomprehensible. Oh, I can slow down by holding circle. I think it's okay. Okay. The survivor light gun only? Or does it have moving around like this? I don't know. I think that the first survivor might have moving around, but I can't remember. I haven't played that game. Volume is a little thin. I've been thinking about changing shampoo. Oh boy. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? It's probably fine for now, but if they start overlapping, it probably would get too loud. Okay, we can we can play it by ear. About this game's dark as hell. I can't see a fucking thing. Um, is items gonna be easy to see? Because that could be a disaster if not. Man, he feels terrible to control. He just he's slippery, and we got ammo round or ham gun. And closet cannot interact. Seems, what did it say? Seems to be closed? Okay. Yeah, it does seem to be closed. That's what a closed door looks like. You know, this environment does not look very good. What? Oh yeah, that's right. When you go to first person, you can turn and you aim up and down with the right stick. You can't like move the reticle left and right on the screen. It's like you move your entire view and then you move the crosshair up and down. <laughs> very, very strange. This controls... Maybe not... Maybe not that great for playing on the controller. That's probably why it is a uh, light gun game, first and foremost. 
Maybe that little drawing of like a house or something? We are fine right now. Wow, I bet that these zombies will never get up and attack me. I don't have map. There's a keycard lock on the door. Man, I really can't see shit. It's really dark. You know, in a way, this kind of reminds me of um, the look of, like, Disaster Report. I don't know if anybody else can see that. Oh no! Kind of a kind of a hideous game. Look at all the because the way that the PS2 does lighting, which is like vertex based usually, you can see all the triangles on the wall as the flashlight moves across it. It's really Ooh. Upper decks map taken. It's still holding something. Yeah, we take first class key. And we hear something, but we can't really see. Can we actually see through that glass? Or is that like fake reflection shader style? I love vertex lighting. Yeah, same here. Disaster report did not have textures this good. Well, I'm mostly thinking about, like, the modeling, and I don't know how to describe it. Are we gonna be fighting now? I'm scared. Uh, uh, okay. Did I win? No, she's still red. Uh, Strange. Whoa! Strange standing up animation. Item? Or you actually dead? It seemed like we got like a crit. Okay. The reticle is still red, but shooting doesn't do anything. That was kind of cool. Yeah, those, those animations were good. fake window. I stand up like this, as a matter of course. Alright, so I'm assuming... Hmm, wait, we came from guest room 104? Do I want to go... Yeah. Ah! Hmm. Ah! <laughs> Blah! <laughs> All right, there's wide hallway. Yeah, was that like a like a crit? Yeah, we're golden. Okay, so when you get that splat and they fly backwards, that seems like uh, you win. Yeah, come here. Pretty cool. What's in here? Seems to be closed. I don't know what that means. Does he have stamina? The breathing is getting louder. Does that affect anything, or is that just, like, for effect? <sighs> the bartender part from Shenmue 1? Can't really remember that. I'm gonna sample this beat. It's gonna be like a Tour de France by Kraftwerk. wonder where we can save our game. Uh, yeah? Okay. Great. Very cinematic. 
What are we doing? Oh, I, I really hate how the turning feels. It's like it's like way too fast. It's it's like the fact that he's kind of like not that nimble going forward and backward, but like he turns pretty quickly. Just it feels like uh, it, you have X and Y sensitivity set to different values. It's kind of cool that we can see out the window, see the water outside. And they're trying with this game. You did something that made the bartender ban Ryo. You could just keep walking back in and getting him mad at you. <laughs> okay, I do remember that. I think it's because we fought with the sailors at the bar. Now, can I, like, pre-shoot these guys? Okay, seems like no. It's a little weird that the cursor doesn't reset. Documents lay scattered on the floor, and we got key card. Oh, fuck. Alright. We win. There are documents lying scattered about. What are we gonna learn? Emergency facts from Paris branch. Date, September 18th. 2002 to International Sales Division. Attention, Roberto! Today, three T virus samples have been stolen from the Paris lab. Our prime suspect is Morpheus D. Duval, who won't belong to the RD division of HQ. His motivation appears to be based upon retaliation against our company. Therefore, we are sending out this general warning to all divisions. Anyone who obtains any information regarding this matter should contact HQ immediately. Regards, Umbrella Corporation Paris. You added the documents to your file. Oh, that's right. We do have... Um, this is a nice menu, though. Look at this. The wood grain? It's super classy. I'm actually, like, mega into this. Let's see about file. We also have intelligence operations manual. Good morning, Bruce. Oh, yeah, that's our character's name. I don't know why I thought it was Travis. I'm sure this game would have been like the coolest thing ever when it came out like even with all the jank this looks sick i mean i got it because i was a super resident evil fan as a teenager i loved resident evil i, mean, I love survival horror in general back then like like mega um and i just remember this game came out and i got it and i was like this is like kind of ass but super fun and i remember playing it like over and over again ah <sighs> I'd hate working in sales for this company and having to deal with this shit. Problems in sales, meaning that you might die. I thought that noise was someone trying to page you? You have a pager? I always set turning to maximum. You do? Have you heard Morpheus D. Duval's cool quote about the, the, pink, the kingdom of beauty? I have a pager for my alphabet soup job, really. When you defeat documents in this game, you add the documents to your own file and can use them on other documents that are weak against it, like Cubivore? Sorry, I dropped this joke. What? Code Veronica X is still one of my RE favorites somehow. You know, I've never finished that game. I'd like to play... I'd like to play original Code Veronica and then see how X compares. I got really far in it. I remember there was like a submarine that I got to and it felt like I was like really far in the game but then I was like didn't know what to do. Hello BHD the DJ, welcome. There's plenty of evil around here. Um, oh yeah. Uh, this time your target is a former executive of Umbrella named Morpheus. This man has stolen the T-Virus and hijacked Umbrella's cruiser. Your mission is to infiltrate the cruiser and report the status immediately to the base of strategic forces. We've prepared some equipment for you to review. Good luck. Items. Your standard equipment consists of a handgun and some recovery items for first aid. There was actually only one. However, you will find other useful items during the mission. I... I <laughs> I like that as a general statement. Like, you will encounter items that you can use to accomplish tasks. Some of them are essential items you will need to proceed, like keys for locked doors and special tools. I like this just... The idea that this is a communique to a trained special agent. 
that is telling him, oh, you might need keys to open locked doors. <laughs> As if he's never encountered this concept before. Maybe he was raised in a lab or something. Also, by using the sneak move, you'll be able to locate items more easily. What does that mean? Like, you will not move past them, like, too quickly? Or does that mean that more items will become apparent or something that we can't normally see? I don't know. Vitality. Every time you receive damage, your status will vary as follows. Fine. Caution. Danger. View this status screen. Press the start button and keep your status at fine with the recovery items. You gotta keep Bruce fine. Position. If you fight against two or more enemies at close range, you will almost certainly be damaged. Therefore, if you're surrounded by enemies, move quickly to keep enough distance between you and them and then target them. In case you're cornered, use the escape button to evade. Escape button? Was there a button called escape button? In the controls? I don't remember that. Shooting. Your amount of ammo is limited, therefore do not shoot more than is necessary and always aim for the enemy's fatal spot. Although the number of bullets you can carry is limited, you can resupply indefinitely. What does that mean? You can resupply indefinitely? What is the meaning of what is the meaning of that sentence? I don't know. What a strange statement. Okay. What is the escape button? What are you talking about? Escape. L1 button or L2 button. Get item, escape and confirm. What do you mean? L1 button or L2 button? But those are sneak move. What do, what do you mean the escape button? Is this in aim mode? What are you saying to me? Escape mode or get item? What? It, what? Escape mode? Do I have to be in like first person view? Escape mode? What do they mean by that? Escaping a crab? But I don't know what the button is. Little koi fishy pawns. Maybe it's something that pops up when uh, when I get attacked or something. You may find food and water to nourish yourself in the fields. Food is a type of item that reduces the amount of hunger that you feel. Hunger is an experience that you might feel when you have not eaten for some time. Um, where are we going now? I kind of wish that the doors would be marked as being open. I guess we might as well go to stairs room. Sounds like there's a guy. Look at They're guarding. And they're doing the same animation at the same time. You know, I'm kind of feeling like we might not have any ammo problems in this game. That's something I do remember from playing this when I was young, is that ammo is essentially never a problem. Can't believe this dude's name is Bruce McGivern? <laughs> is that his last name? And he sounds like he's from, like, Louisiana. <laughs> AI-generated ass pamphlet. The PS2 power button, though, of course. Use the sneak move. <laughs> Seems to be closed. I wonder if all the doors we have seen like this so far have been inaccessible. I don't know if maybe we have to like hit a switch somewhere that opens them or something. That single ammo pickup was like 50 rounds or something. Yeah, and we, we've been like taking zombies out in like one hit so i feel like we're gonna be in pretty good shape bruce would have to be told that he can take a full piece or a small piece of banana bread ah ah no nah. ah uh, i need the escape button no ah okay it's fine <laughs> they don't really have the vacuum grab that uh ah! Ah! traditional re zombies have oh my god there's so many guys i can't see 
Can they climb stairs? Okay. I can't see. Everything is so small. Huh? What was that? My view kind of like quick toggled around. Maybe there's some degree of auto aim. Like it will like kind of follow the zombie that you're aiming at. So this is RE6, but a gun con game. RE6? Hey mage, what are you doing? Freaking Bruce, tilt your head! That was kind of just a wiggle in place. Wiggle? I forgot this. This was like, honestly, this is awesome. I keep thinking it's the PS1 game. No, thankfully no. This game, like, it, it seems pretty good. I'm having fun so far. It's kind of like, uh, I, I really like, remember this being really easy um, and really fun. It appears to be shuttered on the other side. Okay. Doesn't this game have crazy Shinkiro art? Uh, the art for it did look pretty good, honestly. That's shuttered. Alright, we got a key card though. To, uh, wherever that door that had the key card thing. The way he waddles down the stairs is so funny. And look at his, like, a very, like, feminine little step up the stairs. <laughs> Those are some pretty good animations. He's so poised when he walks up. My, my, Mr. McGiver. Very dainty southern boy. Can we open the door in first person? No. So, what are we going to do about this room, which is full of enemies? What do we do? Oh my god, there are so many guys. Eh. They flash red in the darkness, I suppose. These guys are not dying quite so easily. Ammo will be a problem. So, why am I not getting crits on these guys? Have you played Outbreak before? No, but I've always been curious about it. Like, it sounded really cool to me when I was little. Like, why did I get a crit on him, but all those headshots against the other zombies, I didn't get anything. That shit goes hard. I've heard that it's good. Aren't there like private servers for it still? You can still play it somehow? Maybe those guys were too close? It could be. You can still play them online by emulator. That's cool. The crappy scared kitty noise. Rare. It happens sometimes in horror games. Meh. Nah. I know a dude who plays it on his PS2. Cool. There's a site for the good private server named OBSRV. But like, probably the people who play that already know everything about the game, right? So, how can you have like a fresh experience where you're not gonna be like hassled 
You're going to get the, the MMO dungeon experience where everybody assumes that you know everything, and if you don't, then they get really pissed off at you. Can we take a shower? Look at how slender that tub is. I mean, I guess it's a boat. You know, space is limited, but who can lay down in that? I simply don't know. And two rolls of toilet paper. Wow. Quite fancy. You don't even have to reload until you've uh, used up two entire rolls. Wow. Incredible. There's like nothing else in here. <sighs> what? It for sure feels like a game where you can get killed for not doing everything immediately. It seems like kind of hard. Hey Koja, I got decimated by a bunny. Oh, that'll happen. They're quite strong after all. Welcome. Bathroom with no window. It's Mold City in here. That's always the way. Having lived in a couple of places with bathrooms that have no windows, there's basically nothing you can do to get ahead of the mold. As much as you might want to. You know, it's small enough. <clears throat> they got the bathtub thinning capsule? What? <laughs> there's a load of characters in Outbreak that all have different inventory stats and things. So there's a lot of room to just mess with stuff. With other people. I'm starting to think Creedra lives in a room with a hundred monitors watching VTubers? You watching someone else right now? How dare you? It's a bunny and boo boo in particular. I don't know why the rabbits are so dangerous in Final Fantasy XI. How arrogant is your rabbit today, knowing that it's Easter? She was pretty demanding, honestly. Ah, uh, FMV? Five billion dollars. Five billion dollars. There's not Ada Wong. Wow. Oh, oh, wait, wait, you saved me earlier. Your Chinese security bureau, huh? Looks like we're in the same business. Should have bought the razor. Business doesn't mean same side goes together. You already know my name. What's with this music? That makes sense since you're blackmailing both of our friends. What's your name? Whoa, he is like Gollum. Look at that pose. Too much to ask for on our first date. Might I suggest we simply stay out of each other's way? That's my name. And I don't dig fresh meat. If you really want to help, then go help. Uh, <laughs> fast. What it said ouch in the subtitles. <laughs> and then and then we're just back to standing in the same position that we saw when we came into the room initially. That is so wonderful. This game is very, very odd. Uh, that that cutscene felt kind of like hallucinatory. It felt so weird. It was it was kind of lit almost like near. Like the weird like lighting effects in near. You can kind of see that. <laughs> Dialogue not matching subs. This <laughs> this game pretty good. Looks like someone recorded a Pachi slap machine. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, well, that's right. That's why it's so weird. Yeah, it's Kavia. Kavia themselves. That's why we're playing this, is because I just finished playing Nier. And I was like, you know, why don't we see what else what else did Kavia get up to that's not Dragon Guard or Nier? They're playing around pointing guns at each other, you know? It's just part of the biz.
what is it this like weird ass architecture with like these narrow little lanes like if there were somebody coming down the stairs while you were trying to go up the stairs you'd have to like really like squeeze past each other to get up there it does seem like there's a lot of people on this ship freezing room what Entrance? There's just a room called Entrance over here? Oh, bullets. No, we always need those. It seems to be closed. It does, doesn't it? This panel controls the electronic lock. There's a keycard slot here. You use the guest keycard. So we open the doors on 2F. All locks in the second floor VIP rooms released. Alright, we did that. And there's two lights here that are not lit up. Does that mean that they're open or does that mean that they will never be open? I don't know. His footsteps sound very strange. You cannot open the door. Nice of her to give the gun back and stuff. You know, some professional courtesy. I'm not sure what information was actually established there. That there is like a Chinese security agent and that they are not necessarily working together, but it seems like she's content to let Bruce clear out some of the enemies for her. Oh, I opened the door with L2? I just like pressed that completely by accident. Look at, why is he's rendered at PS1 resolution right here. Look at that! He's rendered at a completely different resolution from the rest of the game! That's... that's 320 by 240! What's going on there? Oh, I thought that guy was crawling on the ground. It's really weird, like, when you run out of bullets, it seems like it just kicks you out of the first-person view. killed um can we like pre-shoot that's explosive box can we use that frameable wow oh boy that's like a pretty extreme typo right there <laughs> this is uh might be a really good game you know, i'll take a drink of water and a little stretch thank you goja the old style theater in our big town is built like this you go there often <sighs> oh man Picturing someone sliding down the railing right into that light bulb in the bottom. Yeah, and it's like a fluorescent bo uh, bulb. So then there's like mercury everywhere. Gas. Hello, PW. I'm gonna hang this box on my wall. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Um, what are we doing? Where? Oh, I don't. I keep forgetting like where we even are. Okay, he's like marking off the the doors, if they're openable or not openable. Seems to be closed. Is there anything waiting for me in that deep inky darkness there? Very slurpy kind of door opening noise. Hey, look, they got a wider tub. No, 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 that's still a narrow tub. Tub for Slenderman. Though I guess Slenderman would probably still be complaining, given that he's pretty tall. We got Silencer handgun. Isn't that Fong Ling's handgun? And is there a reason to not use the Silencer handgun? Maybe it's like lower damage or something? Oh, less ammo. 
good for avoiding detection when attacking. So maybe the crits, maybe crits are based more on like you have a higher crit modifier when the enemies have not like noticed you. Because it did feel like when the enemies were aware of us, they turned red. And then uh, we had way lower crit chance. So maybe that's it. Could be. Don't know. We'll find out. We'll figure it out, right? Was that zombie spawning? She's definitely not dead. Immediately got back up. I can't shoot for shit. So, it seems like if I nudge the stick at all, uh, it makes me go out of first person mode. Did they come out of here? Oh, so where'd they come from? They just spawned. Ah! Nah. That was really scary. Yes. When I'm being attacked, I consciously harden my skills to avoid critical hits. That's quite a powerful ability. <laughs> Graffy shout stocks are rising today. Somebody out there is eating good. Seems to be closed. Hey, Stickman. I tried playing this on a gun con too, but the flashing once you get an SMG was too much. I didn't even think about that. Hey. Nice music. Oh, this is what they meant when they said you can you can resupply in indefinitely. That's what they meant. You literally can get infinite ammo. Okay, we can save. It works. I don't know why the game was acting like we could not save earlier. That was really weird. It was like, you will not be able to save if you proceed past this point. And I was like, what? It's free! Just to be safe, I will save state, though. Just in case there's actually a problem. Side bathing while side talking and side stepping with sneak step. Pretty uh, awesome save room theme. Also, I like how these are arranged like they were some kind of like a barricade, but there's like no blood or anything. So where did the people who barricaded these tables go? And where's like, like you would think there would be signs of like struggle or like violence or something, but no, it's free. Basically, we don't have to worry about ammo at all. The deck, I guess? I wonder if we can go out there. There's like shutters on those windows, but we can see out there. It doesn't look like there's really anything out there, though. I'm I'm really feeling this game. This is This is good. Oh, cool. That room is, like, uh, open. Oh. I snoring. You see, he got, like, alerted. Strange that there's, like, some kind of element of stealth in this game. He's... Dead, dead, dead. Okay, nothing down there. Hey, Rhea. 
This has the Dragon Guard composer on it? Really? How's it going? Extremely OPN. Save room thing there. We can see that. Okay. That character is not getting up, at least until we get some item, I'm sure. And she's gonna go. <sighs> this is pretty cool. I, oh no! Let's get out of here. Just be as safe as possible. Even though it seems like we're not really gonna have too much trouble. I can't see anything. So my comment was accidentally right. Nice work. We got ID card, or id card perhaps. Told ya. Now there's ghouls coming. How many are coming? It's Sano DG. He was on a lot of Namco games too, like Ridge Racer and Tekken, really? That's sweet. Wait until you see the cutscene direction in this, Rhea. If you've never seen it before, it's really odd. <laughs> He's the DJ in the Tekken Tag 2 video. I love posting. I see. There is enemy? Wow, I got a headshot in that deep darkness there. Would I actually be a Resident Evil dead aim god? Those kind of look like the guaranteed crits are at distance. Yeah, I'm thinking that it's it's either distance or it's based on if they've noticed you. And it seems like shooting at them does not necessarily mean they will notice you. So, I don't know. Um, all right, well, let's go in here. There's probably going to be more guys up, so we got to remember the frameable box. And maybe get some enemies over to that. Well, there's, they're not up and around. Huh. Wait, what was the, we got ID card. What is this? This doesn't seem useful. <laughs> Very funny thing to have under key items, an item that you examine and it says this doesn't seem useful. <laughs> uh, I I like that. There's been some coming for you that you got insta-crits on. It seems like it's not guaranteed though. Like there's not like a super specific spot that you gotta shoot or anything. Yeah, Bruce McGivern. Quite a name. That guy's just hovering there. Twice folded document here. Regular report number 1162. To HQ International Investigation Department. Attention, O'Neill. This will be my final report on Morpheus for a while since it appears that he is starting to suspect something. Until further notice from me, please refrain from contacting me so that I can devote myself to doing my regular job as his aide. Uh, I think you're missing an E on Aid. After robbing the lab in Paris, Morpheus appears to be preparing to board the cruiser to auction the items. Uh, this cruiser? I thought that this was an umbrella cruiser. So if he robbed an umbrella lab, why would he bring items to the umbrella cruiser to auction? His obsession with the beauty keeps escalating. And just recently, he has undergone plastic surgery to retain his youthful looks. 
He often says questionable phrases like, I will eliminate the ugly things in the world and create my kingdom filled with beauty. We need to take action against him before it becomes too late, since he's currently in negotiations with several countries, including the United States. PT. Give me a break already. Okay, how's it going? I knew this guy was in Namco X Capcom, but I can't believe they even pulled him out for a Teppen card. Teppen? Hmm, so you know, I'm thinking maybe actually it's not optimal to pick up all the ammo. Because if we know where the save room is, and we can go to the save room to get unlimited ammo, we can resupply from items that are lying around. Um, uh, and not have to go back there. I don't hear any enemies. Uh, I suppose we can just go back to the spiral staircase now. We got that ID card, but what does that mean? What does that do for us? Is that the escape button? Okay, that's the escape button then. Uh, I just pressed like L1 when he was upon me and Bruce just flung him away and I didn't take any damage. Teppin is Tengen. Tekken? Tenga with only penguins. Oh. Mobile on trading card game? Oh. I see. Did we go into 102? I kind of can't remember. A lot of these, like, part of the uh, unfortunate reality of making a game like this on a boat is that you, a lot of the rooms are just going to look the same. Like, they have the exact same layout. Hmm. Um, you know, I suppose maybe we use that card in the panel thing down here. The guy from Survivor 1, Gun Survivor 1, also has two cards for some reason. I don't think anybody liked Survivor 1, did they? I have never heard a single positive thing about Gun Survivor, the first. Okay, we have two huge areas that we can go to now. I don't really want to go to a bunch of little guest rooms. Why don't we go to the, the west side of the boat then? The positive thing about Gun Survivor 1 is that it's funny. But I've like I've heard that it's like infuriating. Kitchen. We get something good to eat. Weird audio. Alright, we can go into the freezing room. Are those pressure cookers? Why are they like suspended like that? That's what I said. Funny. Oh, funny for the person who's watching the other people play it. I see. That's what you mean. Huh? Funny if you're watching a streamer play it and they're they're like enraged. All right. I already configured that these guys are going to get up like as soon as we leave 
this room, so we don't need the silencer. We probably want to prioritize higher ammo count. Oh, shotgun. Oh, but that means that all of them are going to get up. I don't like that at all. Wow, that clipping audio? No! Ah! Get off me! No! Let's just leave. Let's just walk out. Why don't we do that? <laughs> that was scary. I didn't lose very much health at all. Shotgun. This wide area attack weapon is most effective at close range. Oh, hello, Megami. Thank you for reading. How are you doing? I gotta fix my alerts one of these days. I think it's almost, like, funnier that my alerts just not working is becoming, like, a running joke. It's not really a joke, though. Hey, Blues. How's everybody doing? What were you streaming? What's with these hallways? Hey, how's the volume been, also, come to think of it? Seems to be closed, yeah. No dining today. A path of exile defeated two pinnacle boxes. I don't know what that is. That's like, uh, the Apple type of game? Sounds gao so far. Okay. Glad to hear it. Seems to be closed. Only seems that way. We aren't absolutely sure. I'll just leave that ammo there. We don't really need it. Um. Pool deck? Just that overlapping multiple zombie sound was loud. Except for that, I think it's good. I thought that was kind of funny, though. Are there any enemies out here? Maybe we can snipe them. All of them getting up at the same time was, was like, kind of incredible, honestly. Instantly uh, fell down. I don't seem to be able to actually target that guy from over here. There's definitely something about the distance is definitely affecting crits. I like these these two people just like doing the same animation. Oh, look, uh, first aid spray. Medicinal spray. The green marijuana aerosol. These, these couples that were zombified and I guess immediately stood up and started looking at the, the ocean together. But now, this guy's out for revenge. You ruined our eternal bliss. It's like Titanic. You know, it would be kind of cool if they were extra vulnerable to headshots when they're standing up or something. Because it's kind of harder to hit them. The key is sticking in the panel. Okay. It will take maintenance key. Which opens... Oh. An octagonal crank. The lid slid away, revealing a pressurized hatch. There's a warning label on the hatch. Admin report 916-2002. We will begin the facility improvements today. The handle to open and close the hatch for pool drain is on, on 1F is quite rusty and should be replaced. We'll keep the current one in the storage of F 1F, just in case. Okay. Storage of 1F. We got admin reports. 
What a nice sky. Gloomy. These, like, street lamps on the, the cruiser. I don't know if the boat is just, like, adrift. There doesn't seem to be any kind of wake or anything. <laughs> Hot tub. Which, like... Kind of dangerous if you're getting out of that hot tub with these like cartoonishly high railings they go like way up into the air you like step down on that little step but if you slipped or something you'd be in a world of pain and also like the pool area being on this strange like you have to step into it using this and then you're, like, on the edge of the pool. And then you can get into the pool. Or, I don't know if this is supposed to be, like, filled on the edge here. <laughs> really odd pool design all around. Little bep. The water sounds just did something to my brain. Oh no. You okay? <laughs> the water sounds... Oh, a sturdy shutter blocks your way. Was well, there anything else out here? Just cool furniture? Yes, but I'm calm now. Oh, okay, that's good. Life jacket. Adult, 10 pieces. Extra large, 5 pieces. Children, 21 pieces. They expect to have 21 children on here? Alright. We unlocked the door. Uh, we already been in this room before. You know, this guy seems like he should be in a little bit better shape than this, don't you think? Uh, I assume we're never gonna come back here until we get the... Crank? No, that's how many pieces they cut up the children. Oh, of course. cannot open the door. Don't even try. Shame on you for thinking you might be able to. <laughs> 21 children nuggets. This is the third floor? Well, we have all these rooms to check, which maybe will get us into stairs hall 1F. Like, maybe like open the doors over there? Because we were not able to open those before. They were blocked by a sturdy shutter, after all. Sounds like there's a lot of enemies in this area. Uh oh. Uh, ah! No! Oh, yeah. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Guys, this is too scary. Uh, I keep trying to close the menu with a circle. Ah, stop! Oh, yeah. How much health am I at? Caution? Oh my god, why are these enemies so aggressive? Those are like boss enemies. Why are they so strong? Or like they're so like they were so fast. Oh, did I just accidentally use two herbs because I pressed the wrong button? That's awesome. It's really hard to get out of the, the habit of pressing, um, like, B or circle to close a menu. They never got their children nuggets. It's the saddest sentence I've ever heard. Take the semi-auto handgun. This is just like the game of all handguns, isn't it? Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> this handgun can fire bursts of three rounds at one time. So wouldn't that make it a burst handgun and not a semi-auto handgun?
Okay. Why? What's that weird sound? There's like a tone. Almost like the television emergency test sound or something. Right. Straining my ears to see if there's any enemies around. Because we don't like surprises, now do we? It seems to be closed. Cannot open the door. What doors exactly can we open? Seems like none of them. Taking a page out of Silent Hill 3's book here. Ah! Stop it! Ah! Okay. Surprises can be fun though. Well, you know, once in a while, not every day. I constantly get surprised by my roommates. I I always am scared. They're always creeping around. Panel for opening the shutter. Nice sound effects. Well, now we have like another way to get around. I guess that's good. Seems to be closed. I love surprises. Like what? Nails on a chalkboard, my favorite. Um, you know, like, what would we have to gain? Oh, now we can go into that one door that had the shutters on it before. Like being decimated by Bunny. You like that? You like losing experience due to dying? All right, shutters are still down on that door, which will not open. It appears to be shuttered on the other side. You know, save room is kind of far and few between in this game. Few and far between. Let's see what's in here, which we have not been in yet. There's bar seven C's. Uh, and stairs. Maybe we can finally get into the stairs. It was like inaccessible before. No enemies? Vorpal bunny. <laughs> no, I mean IRL. Oh, of course. Who doesn't love that? Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I think I like didn't complete this thought, but 8 lives asked, I think it was 8 lives, if my rabbit was being haughty because of Easter today. And she was very like demanding this morning. Like uh, she basically, had me petting her non-stop for like an hour and a half. Can you gamble? God, I hope so. Maybe this will be like a better version of the Riverboat Cruise uh, gambling place in Shenmue 3. There's a letter in an envelope here. Waiter's letter. September 14th, 2002. Brother, how's everything? My life has taken a turn for the better because I'm on a luxury cruiser. Well, actually, I work as a waiter on a cruiser. Most passengers are well known, and I've seen them before on TV. My colleague told me that they came from various countries to discuss business and that a world famous drug company owns this cruiser. Anyway, I'm doing fine. Take care of mother for me. Love to all, Joseph Carter. I'm sure that Joseph got out of this just fine. It's all good. Rabbits are not to be underestimated. If you do, they will crush you. What is this room? Like, 
this death feels like a room that should be full of enemies, right? Chock full. Bursting at the seams. It's locked. Club symbol. Hey, we got the classics. The card suit keys. Storehouse. What do you think that's about? That's still closed for reasons we don't really understand. That door works, apparently. Hey, one of these doors we can actually open for once. That's a rarity so far. Hey, maybe sneak move is so we can move around without being heard by the enemies. Um, all right, I'm assuming and the movement is like really janky. I wonder if that's my controller or the game. I'd like to believe it's the game because, I mean, you can probably blame a lot on this game's programming. I was wondering if this was like a company retreat or if Umbrella also operates a cruise line business before that letter. I mean, there he seemed to be involved in all kinds of stuff. So, who knows? Lockers. There's like some bundles of rope. Bottles of wine. Fire extinguishers. You know, just all the stuff that you keep in the same place routinely. There's a book. There's a diary here. Great Crewman's Diary, which has like green pages. August 27th, Tuesday, 2002. Yes! Today is my 100th day anniversary since coming on board. But that's all I can write about since this place is so boring! I expected a lot because this is a luxury cruiser, but I've learned that there is almost no difference from working on a cargo vessel. September 4th, Wednesday, 2002. I finally have something to write about. Today, large cargo was carried into the presentation room, which is beyond the boiler room. Recently, many people are going in and out of that room. I wonder what's taking place there. I am curious because the crew doesn't have access to that room. September 6th, Friday, 2002. I saw a red mark through a break in the sheet of one of the cargo crates today. I think it's a symbol for biological and chemical weapons. Somehow, passengers are still going in and out of that room. Maybe there is a hidden door in that room, but I'm not sure where it would lead. September 7th, Saturday, 2002. My boss yelled at me today for not paying more attention to my job. What a jerk, but I'd better be more careful since I really need to keep this job. Okay. Sure. Just some information about the biological weapons on the ship. I guess that's interesting. Hey, shotgun bullets. Those are not, like, twinkling, though. Hmm, so we have to keep out a more strict eye for shotgun ammo, I suppose. We got crank. Uh, can we get into stairs room? Is that something that we will be allowed? Seems to be closed, okay. Um... Now, what do you bet? Oh? Oh, I was hoping for another FMV. What? Oh, he looks so weird. He looks like he is in like a Nickelback type of game. Should have left by now. Band. Somewhere in America, there's a kitten stuck in the tree. Desperately needing your help. Oh well, thanks for the present. Lucky girl. Now give me a hand. Fong, Fong Ling! Hey Monty. Yeah, a Nickelback type of game. What? We play as her now? Okay. And she has just a machine gun. And a silenced handgun. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Hello, Andy. Resident Evil. I'm on a boat edition. 
Was there? Well, there's also Resident Evil Revelations and Resident Evil Gaiden that both take place on boats. I guess this franchise kind of has like a secondary thing for boats. She's got the penis type magazine. My god, mage. I just found it. I have access to under my floor and it is really opening and frightening under there. What do you mean? <laughs> there's like a trap door? A boat is a type of mansion. I guess you're not wrong. Oh. Oh, no. Um. Is there any good reason why I shouldn't just run away? Okay. Big deal. Um, what's the best way to get back there? Through the guest rooms, I suppose? Does this mean that all of these guys are still gonna be there when Bruce comes back through these areas later? Am I making my life really hard by uh, not clearing these enemies out? RE7 has a boat sequence too? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and there's a submarine in Code Veronica. They do love the nautical stuff. Nautical nonsense. I'll upload a video of it later when my phone charges. It died while I was investigating. Oh no. Ah! No! Be gone with you. RE0 was on a train. Which is a type of land boat. I suppose you could say that. This music? I can really see that this is- Oh, you can hear the groans of zombies coming from beyond the door. You'd better not open this door, alright? Don't see why that stopped us from opening any other door. Huh? So, if I'm not supposed to go... Oh, wait, was it one floor down? Oh, yeah. I was mistaken about where we needed to go. This is definitely Drakengard type of music. And it was a luxury train too. Kind of mansion like. That is true. Um. I want to go over there. Uh, now. It's like a straight shot down this hallway. Music's so good. This game has had like kind of awesome music so far in general. Her running animation, she looks like so tired. All right, you attach the handle to the hatch. You hatch the handle. Beauty and brains. You're a smart woman. There's Morpheus D. Duval. Look at that you hair. Destroy this for me. <laughs> he definitely did not say bastard die. Oh! Froggy hunters. Look at them. They look so dumb. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh! Party guests seem to arrive. Hurry up, Molly! <laughs> His face and pose! This game is so funny. Getting Resident Evil on a plane? Oh, hey, Augersley, I didn't even notice you come in. I was too engrossed in Resident Evil Dead 8. They simply wouldn't let you put music like this in a game anymore. 
Uh, they certainly would not. <laughs> Have you played RE Survivor? Um, is that the, the first... You mean the first one of the PlayStation? I never played that. I have played this one as a teenager, though. Whoa, hey, slick moves. Oh, they're pretty fast. Hmm, what am I supposed to do to keep them corralled? So that I can actually fight them. Is there like a quick turn? I can't shoot. Quit dodging. Uh oh. Almost out of ammo. Angel Guts, how's it going? Or shortening, it's another victim. Damn. Enjoy your stay. <sighs> Not again. It doesn't. I'll never die, and I'm not afraid to die are wildly different phrases. <laughs> oh boy. Um. All right. We have no map for this area, I suppose. Oh look, we can get more ammo for free. We get that sick save room music. Oh wait, is there infinite ammo from these? Or is it only like the ones that are visible? This game is so awesome. I can't believe how little of this I actually remember from when I was a teenager. All right, we save. Hello, PK Tom. Now, dead aim is seeming pretty good so far. Oh, I can use the D-pad to aim. That's going to make things so much easier. Well, I can't aim up and down with the D-pad. Oh, shit. Would be nice. <laughs> what are we doing now? Elevator? This is quite an elaborate shift here. Is this the boiler room that the uh, that guy's diary mentioned? That beyond the boiler room was the secret room that everybody was going in and out of all the time, but nobody was allowed to go into. Get item. Um. Well, we might as well just eat another herb to top up. Oh, the flickering light? What's up with that? Horrible. What?
wasting so much ammo. Is that guy? Uh, he's still still alive. In a manner of speaking. <laughs> Many anime get wildly different subtracts on Netflix between the closed captioning English and regular English subs, which may be similar to what's happening here. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to strafe. I think that it's probably like the subs are from like some early, like very literal translation, and then maybe like the, the dub voices are like punched up a little bit. I'm thinking that at least. Maybe I should switch to the regular handgun, because it seems like I'm wasting way too much ammo using the burst gun. Kinda hard to see some of the items on the floor at times. I hear Weezer. Did I get them both? Ah! Oh, okay. There's like another guy coming. Okay. Ah. Guys, this game is too scary. Like, it's really dumb, but it actually is pretty scary at times. Yes. Oh, the crit headshots feel so good. Um, yeah, we don't have maps still. What's over here? Getting back up? No? No! Quit spawning more fucking guys! Hey, Nethika. How's it going? Spoken dub dialogue has a priority to match the lip flap of the show, where subtitles have a priority be more transliteral to the Japanese track because you can pick up a lot of the words being said. You mean like of the Japanese language? Okay, so I didn't even need to go down this hallway, I don't think. That was like entirely pointless. I just wasted tons of ammo, but I mean we seem to get so much ammo that it doesn't really matter. Uh, this layout is nonsense. Okay, now we're going up an another elevator? This is all inside of a boat, remind you. Remember? Is that what I was looking for? This is a diagram of the ship. Uh, also known as a map? Lower decks map taken. Okay. How is this place so big? Oh, this connects back to the spiral staircase? Ah, the presentation room. And engine room. Wonder where Morpheus is. 
crew entrance. We need a key card. Okay, that's great. Where do we go now? It's kind of weird that there's like this area seems to be kind of like a secret, but you can kind of see in. There's like a little bit of top there. That's quite a door. Wasn't there two doors? There's like a door here. Ah, can't open it though. It's like a weirdly long and thin boat. It's like shaped like a big cigar. I thought this was a rail shooter for some reason. It's like kind of. It's like a rail shooter where you can move around and then you go into first person. It's an odd game. How are you doing, Doro? <gasps> yeah, like when they say the name of a character, the subtitle should also use the character name, or the dub might just use a pronoun. But like, in Japanese though, that often is the case, that that's basically like, like just a pronoun would be used if it was a language that used pronouns like that, but Japanese doesn't, right? This explicitly has light gun support, right? Yes. But I don't have any means to play it with a light gun, so we're playing on controller. I'm good, I went for a walk in some nice weather. That's great. I did the same this morning and it was uh, quite delightful. The contents of a box seem to be a crew's belongings. The contents of a box seem to be a crew's belongings. Ship, crew, private property. With the right tool, you might be able to pry it open. Okay, why is the ship crew's private property here in the cargo room in a bunch of wooden crates with gigantic science fiction capsules? What's the meaning of that? And huge crates that are just like cubes with like little handholds on them? Oh, and of course, biological contaminants. Just normal cargo for an everyday boat. Looks like a freight loading entrance. Does it? It's like inset. Where does that... Okay, whatever. A light gun sounds so refreshing. You know, for sipping. Water gun, light gun, machine gun. Those are the most common elemental guns. Water gun. Bio waste being in wood crates is so funny. It's, you know, the, the natural way to store them. Of course, of course. I can't unlock. This guy's not aware of my my being here. Uh oh. Okay. Wow. There was like a key or something inside of his head. I like how the item spawned at the exact point that I shot when he died. That's pretty good. Okay, he's dead. Ah! He was not dead. I was completely wrong. What do you have? Herbal medicine. Uh, I guess that's like the second level of healing item, maybe? We can't get into monitor room. We have only presentation room to go to. A cruise biological contaminants. Picking up your bullets back like the arrows. They're designed to be used that way. This is presentation room? I thought I saw an item, but maybe I was mistaken. Look at how small these chairs are. Like, look at how wide Bruce's hips are. And then look at how small the chairs are. And they're so low to the ground, too. Like, if Bruce was to sit in one of these, he would have his knees up to his chest.
very odd. I think that this might be an extremely funny game. Um, press the button? Well, maybe not yet. We'll wait just a moment and make sure that we don't have anything else we can pick up first. Hey, you know, what do you bet there's a hunter in that capsule? I have this, like, really weird suspicion that that might be the case. I don't know why I would think that, though. Oh, crowbar. Look at how big that is. That crowbar is the length of his entire leg. Maybe this is a document about the crowbar. It appears to be a report of some kind. Gaming rockers. Research report number 22329. Uh, hey. I was right on the money. This special elite version has been modified for presentation. Wow, just modified for aesthetics, huh? It is faster and more powerful than a standard hunter. Tyrant 091. Well, that looks like those big weird hands that we saw earlier that clonked Bruce from outside the window. This sample was created with a newly developed virus. It attacks objects with its huge arms. While its agility and striking power are outstanding, it currently has a fatal flaw because an essential organ is exposed. However, this will be rectified in future models. You know, you can say that, but it seems like the tyrants always have this problem. I don't know. That means it's got incredible leverage. Wow. I guess that is how levers work, right? This lab is manned by Dr. Doros. An entire click of them. They're all running around all over the place. The chairs on clearance were on clearance at Office Depot. It was a great deal. Hunters are so cute. I love them. They're pretty cool. We can patch Tyrant later. Umbrella. Uh, yeah, this is it. The TG virus. Strict secrecy! Access restricted! We have succeeded in fusing the T-virus and the G-virus so that it has electrical properties. What does that mean? Is that possible? A virus with electrical properties? However, after observing the prototype known as T091, we have to concede that there is much room for improvement. In this newest version, version 0.9.2, it's like software, we have finally been able to achieve a high voltage current, which was our initial goal. Its electromagnetic barrier should make it near invulnerable. Now, we require a human test subject that matches the conditions to experiment on and observe. Wow. You added the research report to your file. Um, anything else around? Documents? I get this weird feeling that there's going to be two hunters that are going to come out of these fucking capsules. Oh wait, no, there's only one capsule. Um... Oh! Experiment. Experiment! Thank you, Augursley. Mao's famous line. There will be two of me! I do not have this problem. Redra very powerful. Yep. Oh wait, no, okay. <laughs> Everything blue. Happy Trains Day of Visibility, everyone. <laughs> A scared little rat with an ugly, useless gun. Morpheus? I didn't even think As about that. When I decided to play this today.
<laughs> that move. <laughs> now, what am I doing? Push the button? Yeah, nothing happens. Sorry, that's fine. Is this transgender? Yeah, this is the effects of the T plus G virus. <laughs> the TG virus. <laughs> I didn't even think about this when I when I decided to play this game today. And then I, as soon as I started the game, I was like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> I think we should let Morpheus win, personally. Um, where are we going? Like, what are we doing? I don't... I don't actually know. Like, what... What are we doing right now? The doorknob is covered in blood. Okay. Jack Blangonga. That's wonderful. Is that... What is Zack Blangonga? Something with the crowbar? Oh, yeah! That was in this room. Let's go. It's all connected. Oh yeah. It seems to be a crew's belongings. We take crewman's key card. Nothing in here is any apparent use. The contents of a box seem to be a crew's belongings. Who, I guess, just stowed away. <laughs> what the fuck? Bullets? She just appeared and just insta jibbed me. Hey, Lily. How's it going? This is some pretty good music for like a uh, chase by the villain of the game. Graphy jump scare? That's happening a lot today, honestly. Ah! No! Stop! I don't want I don't want to scream and cry. We got key card. You cannot carry any more. Yeah, we'll throw away uh, our silly rounds out and pick up shotgun rounds. I only know that this game's got a good soundtrack and nothing else. It has a great soundtrack and very, very funny everything else. Also, the, the main villain of the game just took the TG virus and then grew breasts and high heels and is now attacking us. Which I think is just fantastic. <laughs> Today has been a good day for Graphy Sound. So I'm glad someone's enjoying my fear. She's so fucking cool. Her claw. Let's fucking go. Uh, as opposed to... What? Open this door from the inside! Oh, okay, we're playing as Fongling again. I like how, because she's Chinese, she has to wear, like, this extremely Chinese, uh, like, shirt, like, silk shirt, even though she's on, like, a mission. This terminal is used to open the electronic locks on the cruise ship. There doesn't seem to be any power supply. Maybe there's a power control somewhere. Okay. Is this power control? Or is this, like, for doing chin-ups on? Maybe there's a power control somewhere. Oh, there's stairs going down. Umbrella Corp, they're working on the wrong virus. I know of a few people who might be interested in this. Uh-oh. Is that a hunter? Ah! Oh my god! Okay, we gotta put on a uh, photosensitivity warning immediately. Sorry about that. Holy shit.
<laughs> uh, sorry about that, everyone. I didn't realize it was going to flash like that. Um, Alrighty. Some eye-popping effects right there. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Someone mentioned that earlier too. Yes, yeah, Snake Man. But I thought that I thought that he was talking about specifically like um the way that light guns um the way that light guns like used to function by like there would be a square on the screen that would flash and the light gun would look for that flash in that specific spot and like respond to it and like you would get the shot if you were aiming there um so i didn't i wasn't expecting that i don't think i ever put together the t plus g virus thing that's so that's so weapons currently equipped cannot be reloaded manually what this doesn't seem useful what does it mean weapons currently equipped cannot be reloaded manually No, we do not want to use Silence Pistol against Hunter. I only played it in Light Gun. I had no idea it flashed like that without it. Yeah, I thought that I thought that it would be fine. I thought that it wasn't gonna flash. <laughs> it felt like some hardcore like rave visuals or something with the flashing and uh, the Hunter's face like right up in our camera. Her running animation is really funny. I mean, a lot of the animations in this game are pretty goofy. Gotta heal. We are in very Dengar right now. Ah. These guys are so dangerous. Oh, I can't I can't reload? Strange. This guy is so damn healthy. Oh, I was supposed to use these! Flammable canisters, of course. Hello, obtain rat. Cherry. That's a damn battle toad. Somebody said that earlier too. They're live action battle toads. The Shrek video is so epic. What are you saying? This is the Shrek that gets pained when the song goes woo and looms over the crowd? Okay. I know I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> What was why did why was that made? Oh, thank you, Koja, for the gifts, though. <laughs> All right, we turn on the power to this floor. Great, and Bruce somehow has been strong enough to hold the door against Morpheus this entire time. Oh boy, I this this game might be goaded. This this is really good. Um. All right, now we have to press a button. It might be an excision thing. It was like his entire gimmick is big 3D visuals and really bad dubstep. It's pretty crazy that dubstep is still around. And now Cherry of Teen Rat Scampers is trapped like a rat. <gasps> the function of rat. Sweet music. I like how those doors have just like a big arch that's shaped like a rectangle with caution tape. Times are you expecting me to save you, mister? Come on. What are friends for? <laughs> I'm just trying to help you build up your confidence. Don't qua. Don't. Shh. I think he's given up. Why would you open the door? Wait. Before you said Don Hua, what does that mean? Mm, it means you are cool. Oh, shucks.
Well, is there anything else to be done in here? Wait, where are we now? Oh, we're just back in this hallway where our ship crew room is. Okay, I have to pee like deadly bad. I gotta go practice my dead aim. If you know what I mean. Um, so I will be back in just a moment. Hang tight until then. Hey, I'm back. They're so rude to the monster. I know, it's bullshit. I think that we should get to play as Morpheus and we should get to kill Bruce McGivern. Sorry, I forgot a key thing in the Shrek thing is it's a Venga Boys remix. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Ah. Hold up. You have uh, one minute. because it's relevant now map where are we going this map is terrible why do you even have this map when there's the other map that tells you so much more about the rooms and stuff I'm on mobile so the pole is broken for me I'm sorry that's tragic Is it just me, or are these guys starting to exhibit new behaviors? Handgun rounds. That is a massive chair. Look at, like, the, the, the size. Sitting down one, wow. Nobody voted for pissing their pants? What a shame. new behaviors elicited by the TG virus. 
making you sway around. Look at that rumpled blanket right there. I can't actually look down. The game doesn't allow for that. All the cloth in this room is so rumpled. There's not even anything in here, is there? Did we get anything from this room? I don't think so. I see. It seems to be closed. You cannot open the door. Because it seems to be closed. Stretch and hydrate? Thank you. What if hydrate turned you into a hydra? I... Well, he has an idol animation. <laughs> Looking around. Gotta stay aware. Stay alive. It's very annoying that there's like no dead zone on my controller. So if I even slightly feather the analog stick. Whoa! There's some sexy lady pictures there. Then it, it makes me exit first person video you. You know, I don't know how I would feel about sleeping next to somebody who had sexy lady pictures right by his pillow. I have to assume it's for strange reasons. Look at how narrow these bunk beds are. And they also are kind of short. I guess that's living on a boat for you though. There's a laptop there. I wonder whose that is. Just have an anti-dead zone set up for everything. I think that I remember setting up Dead Zone for, like, uh, Eco when I was trying to stream that. Hello? Looking up at a poster has to give you some strange proclivities with a weird perspective. No stretching your legs. That person has the same sexy lady picture. Um... I feel like I have to constantly check the map. Ah. That was a crit. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! Alright. Got him. Nice. That was one of those cop zombies. Love triangle. Oh my. Bread aim. Hello, Elves Rose. Welcome. Um, I can get into the monitor room. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of like um, constantly forgetting like what I'm doing and like what I've picked up and and what where I'm supposed to go. I'm just kind of relying on the map to show me the little yellow scribble. 
Look at that strut. All right, let's just try to avoid the hunter. They take way too much ammo. <laughs> that zoom, that looks so funny. All right. Yes. The nice save room music. We all love so much. A bloodstained document has been discarded here. Ooh, this is Morpheus's ravings. Dismissal notice. Date, August 20th, 1998. To R&D Division. Attention, Morpheus D. Duval. Upon investigation, we have concluded that you are- Oh, whoops. You are responsible for the incident in Raccoon City on May 11th, 1998. Your services with this company are hereby terminated. Wow, this is some deep lore. The really important questions being answered of the single person responsible for the incident in Raccoon City. <laughs> uh... However, your non-disclosure agreement shall remain in effect. Finally, your paycheck will be fulfilled in accordance with the dismissal, dismissal procedure portion of your agreement. Regards, Umbrella Corporation Personnel Division. I think this is just like a cover. They didn't want to tell Morpheus that they were going to fire her for transitioning, so... Oh, we're going to blame the catastrophic loss of life and nuclear bombing of an American city due to biocontamination on you. But that's just a theory. Um, what else we got here? Recreation room key. It's not called the club key. Well, now we know where to go. We have to go back to the casino place? We don't really have much need of more handgun rounds at the moment, do we? Laug. Monter room. Saving the data complete. Um, what do we have? Yeah, we could pick up like a little bit of bullets, but who cares? We'll live. Me talking about PlayStation controller buttons. I do think that Triangle has to be like one of the all-time greatest like controller buttons. It's just so good. What does that open up into? Watch your head. Where are we? Oh. Uh, okay. Just back here. Um, is there anywhere that we, like, never went to? I, I kind of struggle to remember. I, I guess we just go over there. This game's so breezy. It's like... Honestly, very refreshing to play such a fast game. Feels like we are making swift progress. Great. Oh! Yeah. Please! Did we lose health? I don't know. Negligible teams. Uh, that door goes back into that room. Where does this go? Cannot open it. That's fine. Oh. Why do I feel like there's gonna be a guy right at the top of the stairs? Oh, there's just one. No big deal. Can't move. And where are we? I I just have to keep checking the map. Cannot open this door. This is just such a barren room. The light going away, step to step. And the like weird, the vertex lighting is like so funny. And you can really just see like all the tries on the wall here. It's really funny because it's like the same technique that they used for lighting in like Silent Hill 1. And it's like a something that lasted for so long because they just didn't have like per pixel lighting yet. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
dead. Now, what's over there? Stairs room. We got captain room. I like how the captain's room apparently has like windows all around it. Oh, but there's like curtains inside. Captain's diary. Read all of his private thoughts. The ship's log is lying here. Per pixel was insanely expensive, yeah. It kind of still is, isn't it? I think Toyama said that they basically spent all the PS2 power for Sp Siren on the lighting. Well, it was pretty effective. They did a good job. Hey, Claudio. How's it going? The ship's log. September 20th, Friday, 2002. It will be four months tomorrow since the Spencer Rain left port. Spencer Rain? What an interesting name for a boat. I'm proud that we have been having a safe voyage so far. A representative from Umbrella, the owner of the cruiser, spoke words of appreciation to me. I like how it's like... They're expecting it to be unsafe because it's Umbrella. It's like, oh god, we're probably all gonna die. September 21st, Saturday, 2002. Something is strange. All of the crew is reported nothing special. I'm concerned that the ones may be breaking free. What? I will be. I'll, I will make sure to always have my Magnum pistol with me. <laughs> what the hell kind of log is this? September twenty second, Sunday, two thousand two. I can't send a signal for rescue. What should I do? The passengers and crew are all dead now. All I can do is accept what has been happening on my ship as my destiny. Oh no. Even your magnum pistol didn't save you. Oh, oh I couldn't break out of it. You dead? Yeah, really dead. Definitely for real dead. What? Are, what's happening with Slitterhead? The Keichiro Toyama game. He's not dead? Look at him sidestepping. Are you real dead? He's fake dead. What? Oh my god, are you serious? What is up with this guy? Okay, he's actually really dead now. Why did he have so much health? They've been doing dev diaries? Oh cool. That's good to know that they are still working on it. Look at that, Marlin! Holy crap. Um, might as well a little sip of the herb. And we might need to switch to the burst handgun because we're out of ammo for the other one. Alright, what are we looking at? We get his magnum handgun. Oh, yes. That he spoke so highly of in his diary. Oh, magnum rounds. Bear. Hey. Bear? Oh no, I've been infected with the TG virus. It can't be helped. I shall accept this as my destiny. You know, it's all good. There's a lot of books scattered around. And this guy's bear mattress? You're the captain. Of some fucking decorum. Imagine if you went to your captain's cabin and you found out he was just sleeping on a bear mattress. Whoa! Uh, yeah. Who's this? No bullets. Toilet. What is that lever? Is that a bidet? Or is that the flush handle? Strange toilet. Why does it have like metal handles around the bottom of it? It looks like a science fiction toilet. 
like this is the captain's bathroom you get like fluorescent lighting and a clawfoot tub and like a weird little toilet and everything else is just like depressing metal <laughs> toilet pedals i would think wow he's doing without to make sure we all have more what a man of character wow how many oomphs infected with the tg virus a sizable number oh i'm infected with the snooze virus this is not exactly a game to nap to what with me yelping and all the gunfire. Okay. Is that guy the, the dead? The dead? No. There we go. Oh, we're out of ammo for that. Uh, we'll just have to use this for now. We've got a lot of shotgun ammo. Uh, what am I doing? Select? Seems to be closed. Oops, I dropped my monster handgun that I use for my magnum attacks. Danny Devi 42 smile. Danny Devi? <laughs> the toilet emote? My goodness. Wow, incredible aim, Raphael. I'm gonna get the marksman badge. Uh, we going to bridge and then maybe heliport? Are we like almost done with this whole? This whole section of the game? I don't know. Seems like it. That alarm can't be any good. Any idea what it's for? No. Oh no. <laughs> What are we doing, man? Am I trying to stop this from something ha from happening? Or... We just leave? I don't know if there's something else I was supposed to get in there. Someone earlier mentioned Resi games on planes? Yeah. This guy is a real dork. It's pretty funny. Why was there a countdown? <gasps> the tyrant! He's got goofy teeth. And big silly hands. There's planes you play on in Code Veronica? Really? QTE fight in RE5. I don't remember that at all. I'll distract the monster while you run after Morpheus. Got it. You run after Morpheus. All right, monster. It's payback time. Why does he always hold his gun like that? Looks like he's gonna break his wrist. What a dumb-looking tyrant. All right, let's get out the Magnum. That's what it's for, right? Boss fights. Um. Items can I get? Ammo. Wow. Uh, all right. of movement are so funny. Oops. This 
Sounds like a rubber glove full of pudding or something. Right, I gotta get him away from these walls. Oh! My. This guy is so annoying. I like how the timer just turned red when we have three minutes left. how Bruce recognized this guy as the monster that hit him earlier, even though we didn't actually see that monster, just based on his hands. It was like pretty funny to me. Yes! Hey, that's a pretty satisfying effect. Alright, dead. Uh, now what? That's that's it? We won? Okay. That was, that was kind of fun. He's holding his gun so fucked up. Yes, another weird FMV. Let's fucking go. I love these. <sighs> the direction on these FMVs is so bizarre. I hope we get something really odd. You know, he narrowly missed getting sliced up by that. That was cool, champ. The blood. Uh, why did that completely explode? I guess that's what the time- was the timer about that, or was the timer the time to crash? Well, say goodbye to the boat, everybody. <laughs> I think when Mage said this looked like it was being filmed with like a phone off of a patchy slot machine. Sweet music. Like, why is the cutscene direction like kind of good? Morpheus. What? I like how he, like, sidestepped through that as if, like, in absence of a live electrical current, the fence is, like, still holding electricity that could hurt him. <laughs> that was the same animation as when we first appeared on the boat earlier. <laughs> electricity means Morpheus was here. That copy of magic. It certainly is magical. I'm having a great time. I... I really like this game, honestly. Look at this, this looks like Hrot. The texturing and like the, something about the little nameplate on the door and stuff. Love that little doo doo. You know, just to let you know, there's a section starting. It's fun watching you have so much fun. Well, I'm glad. I'm having a blast. They made the tyrant out of the most quality rubber. <sighs> wonder if they have a QTE when you're next to a stunned monster like an RE4 was this <coughs> was this before RE4 that was me sorry you have electricity powers now too there is a map of the waterways I like how that's just right there just in case anyone falls down here here's a map I, I, like, hit the map button instinctually, and I was like, oh no, I don't have a map, but I do. And look at, this place is just a hallway. Oh, is this a dungeon? Look at that. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. 
I can copy powers like Kurt, but fire and poison are default. This was 2003. RE4 was 2005. Wow. That's like right before the next console generation. Seems to be a report of some kind. Biological report one. This is a survey report on the changes to the POWs which have been considered failures and have been disposed of in this facility. Have they just been dumping them in the sewer? Torpedo kids? Torpedo kids. They censored their height and weight. As if they're like a bodacious babe who doesn't want you to know how much she weighs. April 7th, the unknown water creatures are increasing rapidly. More and more, the unknown water creatures keep on increasing, primarily in the drainage ditch. Since their body fluid contains strong acids, they are extremely dangerous to touch. I named them Torpedo Kids since they swim like torpedoes. <laughs> Great. Hello, Nethosome. Welcome. Thank you for the rate. How's it going? <laughs> I really like Torpedo Kids as a name for some kind of horrible creature. Oh, I am Psy. April 9th, I have learned that there is a mother that spawns all of the torpedo kids. If I can find this mother and kill her, I will be able to exterminate all creatures in this area. April 16th, I decided to try and exterminate the torpedo kids, and so I explored the drainage ditch in order to destroy their mother. However, the torpedo kids appeared to try and protect their mother and badly injured me. Now they've extended their territory to my place, so I must find a way to get rid of them. Okay, strange diary? Like, I will eliminate all torpedo kids from the area. And torpedo kids DS. It goes well. How are evil residents? I am really enjoying this game. It's like very dumb, but it's also really fun. I am having a great time. I'm just gonna go ahead and reload all of my guns just to like be able to pick up more ammo. What were you playing today, Nephthysum? Did you have a fun stream? A mother? We're gonna have to kill their mom. The torpedo kids. Computer, get me three sizes of these creatures. And the sequel to Snowboard Kids. I remember seeing that game at Blockbuster when I was young, but I never played it. Is it good? It seemed like a lot of people were like crazy about it. Finished? Oh, Outer Worlds. Finished on a bug side quest. I'll find a workaround offline. It's always the danger with that kind of game. Those uh, open world type games have got a lot of weird bugs and stuff. You see a worn and battered notebook here. Operator's Notebook. June 16th, 1997. One month has passed since I was dispatched here. I'm astounded at the sloppy supervision of this umbrella waste disposal facility. It's not surprising this accident happens. I know that if I must die, I want to die as a human. It's like the first entry like in this notebook it was like one month and then something horrible happened june 24th 1997 the supervisor here is called morpheus is so annoying driving me nuts must pay more attention to worker health management and biological weapons than anyone i have ever met this facility belongs to umbrella but obviously doesn't think so i have no idea how long i've been here I don't want to stay in this facility, but I can't move. My body won't move. So, is the person who wrote that and the person who wrote the, the Torpedo Kids notebook like two different people? Interesting. Save. Well, that's about, I think that's about half of the game done already. We will be able to finish this next weekend, I'm pretty sure. Like, probably on Saturday. Um... But I want to also play Enchanted Arms today. <clears throat> and take Obsidian out of Bethesda. We can't take Bethesda out of Obsidian. I mean, when they're deliberately trying to, like, make that type of game again, even if it's being made on, like, Unreal Engine or whatever they were using, it's just going to turn into a spaghetti mess of code. <clears throat> oh, oh, Snowboard Kids is pretty fun. Got fun character designs. What a bumper stream. Bumper? 
<laughs> like a bumper crop. All right, so let's get this off the screen and we're gonna be switching to Enchanted Arms. I gotta sync my controller to my Xbox first. This music is a pretty good candidate for um, talking section music. Uh, I think that, is this game gonna be four by three? I might have to become small. We'll see. Gotta move this. Gotta move this. Gotta go to OBS. All right, give me one second. For some reason, the controller was like really reluctant. Did you play this for Trans Visibility Day? You know, I didn't think about it until I started the stream today, and then I was like, oh, this is like such a great coincidence that we were playing the game with the TG virus that gives you boobs and high heels on your body. We play it on Trans Visibility Day. It was such a great. Uh, coincidence how do i get to my library on here all right enchanted arms ah oh, oh snowmany also and baxter crook welcome i gotta change the um i gotta write down real quick oh wait no uh oh no i do notepad yeah we want a dead aim at negative 12.5 decibels and we might have to adjust for um enchanted arms let's see i gotta put out the the town crier yeah Post. Uh, if you don't know about Enchanted Arms, this is like a RPG that From Software made for the 360, and I think it was also on PS3. We don't need the photosensitivity warning anymore, I don't think. Now that Wong Ling is not around. I've played a little bit of this game and it is really very, very strange. It might also be really long. I think this is a very long game. Hopefully we can finish it. I would hope so at least. I don't know. <clears throat> it sure is a game. I'm glad that you've played it. More ambient slop for gravity. Just for me? We fight Mr. Vanguard Demon Souls? What? Ah! I'm getting a little stretch in. Where is... 